Hey guys, today I'm going to be making myself a penny lane coat. I'm super excited. I've been waiting a long time to start this project. So let me show you my materials. First I have this coat. I thrifted this coat. The interesting thing about it is it's L.L. Bean. It's like this, I don't know, kind of like Sherpa coat. I think that's what it's called. My mom had this coat, this exact same style, just in a lighter color up until like a few years ago and she got rid of it because it was... I don't know, like early 2000s, like not trendy right now, so she got rid of it. Thankfully, I found this at Goodwill. I was just like over the moon to find this because I had been researching extensively trying to find this exact coat. I was prepared to pay like 50 bucks on like Depop. I got this for $12 at my local Goodwill, so I really, really lucked out. So I just thought it was a sign I like definitely had to make this coat. And then I got this fur. I got two sets of 60 inches long. So I have 120 inches to work with. This is four inches wide. I think it'll be really good. It might be a little too wide for the sleeves, but I don't care. It's for it's fun. I thought this was pretty accurate based on like Penny Lane from the movie. I think this is going to look great. So let me talk a little bit about the history of the Penny Lane coat. So the Penny Lane coat as we know it is from the movie Almost Famous, which is one of my favorite movies ever. It does actually date back to the 60s, 70s. It was called a either a shearling coat, which is kind of more of like the natural like from a sheepskin or an afghan coat which i think is what it was more commonly referred to it was made popular again by almost famous which i believe came out in 2000 but now it's starting to become like a pretty mainstream trend i'm very excited to make this let's head downstairs i'm going to start like pinning stuff on i think i think it's probably the first step here's what it looks like with the fur kind of just like the most basic arrangement of it ever so, kind of like that. That's how it's gonna look. And then around the sleeves too. I think it already looks like really good just holding it up. So, very excited to see the results. But I just think it's so funny that my mom used to have this coat. So yeah, coat, fur, let's get started. I'm trying to arrange it. I have a couple reference photos here. So I wanna see how far down it goes. I'm guessing like the coat kind of has its own like natural ending where it like stops folding out so I think that'll probably be a good place to end the fur down to here-ish so I'll probably arrange it on the dress form and I was thinking that I wanted to like tuck it like that so that it ends without like just being an edge I mean, I don't know what to do. I think that looks good, but I don't know how you actually make that happen. I don't know. Let's figure it out. So I finished pinning on the fur. I think it looks pretty good. I did end up going a little farther down than I planned originally just because I felt like it was a little more like proportionate to the coat and a little more reminiscent of the actual Penny Lane coat. I have a little more history for you guys. So these coats were commonly called Afghans in the 60s, 70s, and they were originally made popular by John Lennon. He wore an afghan to the launch of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album in London in May 1967. So these were originally popularized by him and the rest of the Beatles. His afghan specifically, it was yellow and embroidered with like red flowery stuff on it. These coats were brought back to mainstream fashion by Penny Lane in Almost Famous, so I'm making it. So everything is all pinned on and we use the buttonhole and button to even it out. Hopefully it turns out even. But I'm going to go around just like on the inside and tack it down with a needle and thread. Well, I'm going to like whip stitch so hopefully it can stay on. We can take the pins off and then might try to sew with the machine just depending on how it turns out what we think will work. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to sew all the way around here and I'll be back when that is done. So I finished sewing it. It took quite a while, but you can see kind of the line of where it is. So I'm just gonna like pull the fur out from under the seam, but I think it actually looks really good so far. Obviously I still have to cut this part, so just pretend it looks like that. 
but yeah. Next, gonna do the sleeve, so I have to open the other packet of fur, because I don't think, uh, I don't know, it's cutting it close. I think I'll open the other one, and then I will work on sewing that on. So I discovered that the cuffs roll out like this, so I'm gonna unroll them like that, so the sleeve is long enough, and then so here's what the fur is gonna look like. To sew it, I'm going to flip it up like this, hand sew all the way around here, and then I'll be able to like flip it back and then it'll have a nice edge on this side. I finished sewing on the sleeves, so here's what it looks like, or a little preview at least. I'm going to put on a nice outfit and take some pictures of it and show you guys the final result. It's so fluffy. And also it's shedding. It's done and I am so happy with how it came out. I think it came out amazing. Like look at this. It is awesome and I even put the DIY together. I'm wearing my bleached like zebra-y pants too. I just love this coat. I'm so excited to wear it. It is so much fun. It's exactly what I wanted so let me know what you think. Did I recreate the Penny Lane coat or is it just my own thing? I think it's pretty close. I did just change like the angling of the fur on the front but then other than that i think it's pretty accurate so yeah i'm really happy with how this came out thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys later bye